All right, here we are. It's Mega Man X Part Four. We're still in the middle of Spark Mandrel stage. Having a little trouble. I just died, but I got it past the midway point, so that's good. Well, I'll have to redo this section. Here's another thing about Mega Man X games: these levels are longer than Mega Man X3 levels, without a doubt. Wish I had an E-Tank. That's the other thing about Mega Man X. <laughs> I gotta stop saying that, God. The E-Tanks are awesome in fucking Mega Man X. They're sub-tanks, they're not called E-Tanks anymore. And it's fucking refillable energy tanks, and you get four of them, which is perfect. And you will probably see me use all of them against Sigma's final form, because I'm good at it when I have a Super Nintendo controller, but it requires so much precision, I'm gonna get my ass kicked because of these controls. So, yeah, once again, I'm gonna repeat it. Seriously, anybody who gifts me a basic Gravis pad, Super Nintendo style, is okay. Preferably PlayStation 1 with the analog control style. Um, because I do play some PlayStation games, and it's just a better controller. You can pick the next game I play. Um, it can be Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis. I could try Game Boy Advance. I got some Game Boy Advance games. I don't like very many of them, though, to be honest with you. I've been playing Super Robot Tyson. So if you want to see me play a level of Super Robot Tyson, we could do that, but I swear to God, it would be fucking boring as hell. Um, we could try PlayStation 1, any PlayStation 1 game that we can find. Whoa. ISOs for PlayStation 1 games are not the most totally available things ever, but I do have some. I have um, that Secret of Mana game, which, I don't know, it's so open form. I guess I could get really lost in it, like get really, really stoned and get lost in it and shit. But, mm. not having direction kind of bothers me a little bit, you know, like, I'm like, I don't know what to do, oh my god, because I kind of get a little bit worked up about getting the perfect game and not missing any secrets and shit, and in a game like Secret of Mana, it's impossible to do that. And this is another awesome thing about Mega Man X. These special weapons don't just do a shit ton of damage against the right enemy, they fuck their shit up. And if you get the timing, you get the rhythm, you get the pattern down, look at this. Didn't even move. Who has got the skills? Who has got the skills? Video game stoner got the skills. Who got the skills? I got the skills. Video game stoner got the skills. Mega Man X skills up in here, yo. Crunk and ridiculous. Spark Mandrill just got his fucking shit wrecked. What do you think is gonna happen to Armored Armadillo in our next installment of Video Game Stoner? I don't think it's gonna be good for Armored Armadillo up in here. You're gonna see me get my first E-Tank. Fuck yeah. E-Tank's up in this bitch. Once I get E-Tank, man, I get those sub-tanks rocking. Shit gets ridiculous, because they just can't do enough damage to me. I'm too fucking badass. So we're just gonna blow through fucking Mega Man X. You and me. I hope you enjoy it. It's kind of fucking awesome after getting my ass kicked so much in Mega Man 3. But that's how it is. Gravis Pad, hook me up. You can choose. Any fucking game, talk to me, send me a message on YouTube, we'll work it out. Mega Man X got the best fucking music ever. Mega Man X has got the best fucking music. It's got the best fucking music ever.